we're looking for the bigger number here. What is the bigger number? Okay, cool. So just keep that in mind. Bigger number equals blank. I don't know. Bigger number equals blank. So let's go ahead and think about it again. Let's use A and B. And I see here that it says two numbers add up to 112. So everybody, what's the equation that I'm going to write for that? Two numbers add up to 112. Using A and B, what are you going to write? What are you going to write for that equation? Two numbers add up to 112. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, A plus B equals 112. So, there we go. A plus B equals 112. Now, if we look at that next sentence here, it says one number is 44 less than the other. Okay. And so, making it this far in this video, I'm going to go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So, if you want to learn more about my program, where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that will help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. So everybody, is that saying that uh, we could say, okay, one number, so A is equals 44 less than, so minus 44, than the other. B minus 44. We have to know how to read that English. 44 less than another number means this number minus 44. It seems a little backwards, but that's the truth behind it. So A equals B minus 44. Everyone, which technique should we use in this problem? Should we be using the like we did in the first question, substitution? Or should we do it like we did in the last problem, elimination? Which one are we using? Which one's the better one? Which one's the better one? Elimination or substitution? Which one fits the bill here? I love it. I see it. Hey, there you go. You guys are getting it. Substitution. Substitution is what's going to fit this problem the best. Because notice how it says A equals B minus 44. So this A, we can plug in B minus 44. We can plug that in for A. Does that make sense, everybody? We can substitute what A is. A is B minus 44. We'll take that, throw it in there for A. Cool, so that's what we're gonna do. So again, the first equation looks like A plus B equals 112. Sorry, that looks like a 13, that is a B. And then from there, we take this, and that's going to turn into B minus 44 plus B equals 112. Again, all we did was we substituted right there. That's what we did. We substituted A is B minus 44. So I'm going to replace A with B minus 44. Now that we're here, look at what's possible. Very straightforward now. We got B minus 44 plus B equals 112. Everybody, let's go ahead and combine some like terms. What's B plus B? What's that gonna give us? Right, 2B. 2B minus 44 equals 112. Everybody, next step, we'll add 44 to both sides. That's right, Landa. So go ahead, right there, add 44. It's gonna for sure cancel out right here, leaving us with 2b, I'm gonna push it up here. 2b equals 112 plus 44, which would give us 156. And the last step we'll take is we'll divide both sides by two. 
divide by two, divide by two. That's gonna be gone right there. And that's gonna give us B equals 156 divided by two, which would end up being 78. So we did all that solving. And again, if you're not quite refreshed on how to solve equations or systems of equations, no worries. If you got the setup down, great, great. We'll work on the calculations later. But if you're good with me and you're up to this point, okay, cool. Are we sure that 78 is the final answer? Are we sure? How can we be sure? How can we be sure? Right, let's plug it in. What are we looking for again? We're looking for the bigger number. Let's plug it in and let's see if 78 is the bigger number. And so whether this is your first or 50th YouTube video of mine, it doesn't matter. Why don't you join me for a live class? That way you can ask questions, raise your score and get the job you want for free. Again, I host classes once a week on Zoom, typically on Mondays. So go ahead and click the link up there or down here somewhere, register for free, and you get my free practice test that has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. That's what it's all about here, my party people. I wanna help you succeed, so don't hesitate. Sign up for free, and then let's get back to this problem here. Let's keep raising our scores. So what I'll do is I'll actually take a look at this right over here. I see that it says A is equal to B minus 44. I'll use that to my advantage. So here it says, hey, A equals B minus 44. Great, let me plug in B. Let me plug in B. So that'll say A equals 78 minus 44. What's 78 minus 44, my party people? Doesn't matter because if you're subtracting from 78, that's gonna make the number smaller. So it doesn't even matter what it is. Yeah, you'll get 34, whatever. But it really didn't matter because once you saw that you're subtracting 78 or from 78 to go down, there's no way that the answer is going to be the bigger number. The bigger number is going to be the 78. So that means you are correcto mundo. Boom, B equals 78. And that's correct. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.